Hello there, my name is Adam. I'm a 3D artist and illustrator. And today I'm gonna teach you how to make a I guess you could call it a magical tree house. In some sort. But anyways, or at least the interior of it. And we're not doing the exterior today. Or any time really. Alright. Let's go to edit first. Go to preferences. Ignore that. And on add-on, search for loop. Turn on Mesh Loop Tools, search for Extra, and do Extra Mesh Objects, or rather this one right here. All right. Then we go into Input, turn on Emulate 3 Button Mouse, go to Navigation. You can turn on Depth if you want to. Then go to Key Mapping, and turn on Pi uh, Tab for Pi Menu and extra shading pie menu and then you can go here and do save preferences i currently have mine saved already so that doesn't matter if you ever need to see the hotkeys they're right down here you'll see that if i press these keys it just activates all right there you go all right so let's do shift a do image reference and then go to where you have your reference of the treehouse and just import this one. Make sure to uncheck align to view, load reference, rotate in the X axis 90. There you go. G to move it over to here. And now we can just get started with it. So the first thing I do is do edit. Face selection. Select these two. Select these two faces here and do X faces. There you go, and you're left with a shape like this. Next, let's go here. Add a modifier, bevel modifier. Do three segments, and do 0 0.02. Actually, it's, yeah, two, two. There you go. Last but not least. Add a solidify modifier and do a thickness of 0 0.04 3. Let's do three. See how that looks. Uh, let's do four instead. Or let's do six. All right. Six. There we go. That seems like a good uh, enough thickness. All right. Perfect. Let's just apply it. There we go. That way the bevel modifier can just be applied more smoothly. Okay. Now we can get started by, by creating the main shape of the tree in general. So when it comes to doing these ones right here, where it's just like the vines of the tree or like trunk rather, we're going to have to do a little bit of work on that. Also, don't worry, most of this image was AI generated, so we're not using art and anyone made. It's also using non-copyright images, so that's pretty convenient. But here, let's get started with this stairwell. So, first let's do Shift A, Mesh, and we grab a cube, scale it down, scale it in the Z axis, and we're going to make this stairway here. All right, let's scale it in the x-axis a little bit to be kind of like that. Scale it down. Make sure we get the size correct. Let's scale this down, actually. GX, put it right there. Scale this in the x-axis like this. Scale it in the y-axis a little. There you go. Also, don't worry, we're going to resize this later, but for now, we're leaving it at this size. Let's do GZ, and we're going to put this at the bottom. So, all right. So, once we've positioned it here, let's do, well, actually, first we have to rotate this, Shift-D. Rotate in the X-axis, 90. There you go. That way it looks like this, 7. Then we're going to position these stairs in the same position that these are. 
So I'm going to slowly rotate this one like this. Put it somewhere around here in the room. It doesn't really matter. Let's do Shift D. Put another pair of stairs right there and rotate them to fit right about here. Shift D. Rotate it again. And do at least five of these. You can move them around if you want. G. You can also rotate them. There we go. Now, obviously, when it comes to the original, it goes upwards like this in a spiral, but we're just going to make a flat section and make it go up again. So let's just do Shift D, rotate it one more time to be a little straight like this, scale it up, scale it in the Y axis, scale it in the X axis though, just like that. We make a flat section like this, and now we add stairs over here. So rotate this. Scale this in the y-axis, and we make stairways right here. Make them go on top like that, shift D, and we just make them straight up go this way. All right, now we just need to rotate like this and adjust the heights of everything, basically. So I'll select all of these, G, Z, move them up like this. To about there. It'll be easier if you select it like this. Deselect this. GZ. GZ. There we go. And we get the exact height basically. So if you look at it like this, it should be about the same height as this right here. You can always add one more step if you want to, but I'm personally going to leave it like that. That way we get a bit of space. Let's just resize this in the x-axis a little bit to be about that size. GX to move that out of the way. And now we have our little curve that we need. Now, obviously, this part here needs to be round, but that should be pretty simple. Also, another thing you should add to these, let me just select all of them real quick. Right click, shape smooth. Go here, go to normals, and fix them. There we go. And, oh, they already seem to have a bevel modifier. That's actually pretty convenient. All right, as long as they have a bevel. Oh, no, they don't. Okay, good. Let's quickly add a bevel modifier to all these stairs. Modifier. Bevel modifier. Do three segments. And do 0 0.03. There you go. It should round off the corners. Make sure to select the stairs again. If you deselected them, do control J and fix the normals on the stairs. And there you go. You're left with something looking like that. All right. Let's start making these boards here. Let's do shift A. Actually, we can just reuse these. Let's do edit. Do control L. P, select. Select this, Shift D. Put one up here. And don't worry, we're going to round off the edge later, but for now we're just making them squares. Let's scale them in the X axis to about here. Make sure you do object set origin geometry, G, X. Scale them in the Z axis, B, Z, G, Y. They have to go on the edge right here, scale them in the Y axis to about there. All right, now let's just do an array modifier. Put a zero here and put a one here. There we go. Let's just space them out a little bit to about there. Just enough so you can notice that they're separated. Let's increase the count to a six there you go and we're left with a platform to be almost the same as that let's do this a five actually there you go actually six seems to be a correct number let's scale this in the y-axis scale it in the x-axis to be have a little bit more space 
Later on, we're going to modify this to fit the background, but for now, we just need to start making the tree itself. All right, let's do Shift A, Mesh. Let's add a cylinder. Right, let's move this out of the way a little. There you go. Scale it down. 7G. Put it somewhere around here, I guess. Just scale it up if you need to. GZ. Put it right on top of this. GX. Scale it in the Z axis. GZ. Edit. Control R. Add a loop here. Scale it down. Make sure you disactivate O. Scale it down. Let me do face selection. Scale this down as well. Let me do edge selection. Scale both of these up. Just to about there. Let's do face selection. And let me just start extruding this upwards. Just try to get the general shape of the tree. Later on, we're going to modify it to have a few little sculpted areas. But for now, we're just going to do it like this. And now we just do extrude, scale, and M at center. There you go. And now we add a modifier to this. Subdivision surface, just like that. Let's do a five here. There we go, that'll make it ultra smooth. Apply it, right click shade smooth, and let's start sculpting this thing. So, first, make sure you decrease the radius a little bit, just like that. All right, and now let's just start adding little gashes like this. Just to make it interesting, we can reduce the radius of it. There we go. It really doesn't matter since we're making a tree. Just try to add shape to this. And don't worry, we're going to smooth this afterwards. And just try to get the general shape of the original here. You can increase the radius a little bit. A little bit more. There we go. And later on, we're going to add those branches, but for now, just getting the general shape should work. All right, now let's use the smooth one, which is this one, and just smooth everything out so that it's not so, you know, sharp. And now just try to sculpt this bottom part just a teensy bit. Let me smooth that out. All right, let me use the pinch tool just to connect it to that and to move the shape around slightly. And I know that it looks a little strange, but I am trying my best here to make it look interesting. Later on, we're going to add like a little tunnel or like doorway right here. Let me just do sculpt again. And let me just try to pinch this area in just like this. There you go. And below here, we're going to add even more branches. But for now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Let's just do day mesh. Let's do a cylinder. Rotate it in the x-axis 90. Scale it in the x-axis. Edit. Let's do vertices selection, x-ray 1. And let me just select this side and this side, and scale in the x-axis. Let me select these points here, scale in the z-axis. Actually, select it like more like this. There we go. That should make it end in a point. Scale it in the z-axis now. Scale it in the x-axis a little bit. And scale it in the y-axis. 